outside shot. Just open it up. Right. I like that pump fake. Pump coach. fake. Got the defenders out of the Go. way. Open up the lane. All right. Time to go inside the Lakers locker room. Xavier Henry speaking with Coach Dave Miller in the media. Xavier, yeah. take us through that play. What you got? What went through your mind? Uh, nothing really. I was actually going to swing the ball. Uh, the ball swung a little bit, and then it got to me up top, and I was going to swing it one more time to Jordan Farmer. And when they heard him calling for it, I faked it that way. They both jumped to that side, so I'm pretty good at getting to the rack. The last four games, you really struggled going 6 for 26 on the field. What was the difference tonight to a very efficient, productive evening? Uh, just continuing to work, not uh, not getting down on myself. I have coaches and everybody that believes in me, so to make sure I don't get too down on myself and continue to work on my craft and uh, just know it'll happen sometime. You know, the big question is, how does this team replicate and duplicate the energy and effort tonight so that you have it every night out? Uh, we got to continue to practice it. You can't, uh, you can't come into practice with a, a chill attitude and then expect to play how we want to play, so... I think if we just keep practicing how come hard and uh, preparing for our opponents right, we'll do all right. Take away the effort part of the uh, defense tonight. What technically was better? Um, we, we just made sure we were sound. We didn't, uh, we didn't gamble too much. Or, uh, we did everything just about right. We took away three-point shots, and uh, we handled them pretty good going to the rim, too. You mentioned taking away the three ball. This is a team that led the NBA in three-point shooting to 30%. What adjustments did Coach D'Antoni make to run them off? To run them off the three-point line? Uh, that's exactly what we do. We run them off and make them deal with our big fellas. And uh, when they got to the rim, our big fellas were there to uh, cover the rim. And all we have to do is get rebounds and run. Well, maybe more to the point. I mean, I understand that you've got to run them off, but you hadn't in the past. What was the difference tonight? Uh, just ever, just knowing our game plan. We came in, they beat us at their place. We wanted to make sure we had our game plan to the tee, and uh, I think we did that tonight. Anthony Davis, the other night in New Orleans, has 32 points a career night. Tonight you hold him to 15. What was the adjustment individually on him and then team-wise? Uh, just, just, <laughs> just, just not getting, <laughs> just not, uh, not, not leaving him open for the mid-range shots. He made a lot of mid-range shots uh, last game when we played him, and he got a lot of easy ones in the paint. So we just didn't want to give anybody anything easy. Last question, Lou, you get on a plane, you head to Denver. What's so difficult besides the altitude going to Denver to play? Uh, just replicating our, uh, our performance. I mean, we want to do great every night, and obviously the ball's not always going to fall our way. But if we come in and we prepare the right way and uh, we come in with the right mindset, we can, we can do some things. I got one more last one. Does that dunk get on the top uh, ten plays, number one on Time Warner Cable Sports Net? Well, I don't know what else happened tonight, but uh, hopefully we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> it's not even handed back to you guys. Thank you, Coach. Great question. And, yeah, 